He is another star in the making. Playing football is his biggest dream. At only 17, Jabez Chokoto already has what it takes to make a good football player. Like the other boys who have just come in, they are here to prepare for their afternoon soccer practice. As Jabez is always looking forward to the training, he is even ahead of time. One, two, three, four, five. These are youths that were selected to this academy because of their football talents. And Jabez was sported at school. Even though it is a very hot afternoon, this does not stop them from their practice. They encourage each other for what comes next after the warm up. I love football so much. I worked very hard to achieve my goal. Football is my passion. His position is a midfielder. Being at the heart of the game, he is responsible for the strategy. The others rely on him. He is always paying attention to his coach. It is exhausting. And they must have stamina and discipline to continue. Training helps us to be physically fit so that we do not get tired easily on the playground. This helps us to be very focused and work hard. It is not yet over for a day like this. This intensive training prepares them for the next game. Across the hill lies his township, Ndirande, one of the suburbs found in Blanta. It is a hard knock life living in this area. Tens of thousands of people scramble for space to live in this small town. Living conditions are very bad. It is a poor township, and Jabez and his family have to struggle to earn a living. But he wants to make a difference for his neighborhood. <laughs> This is my home, and that is my mom. She does charcoal business to earn some money for the family. I got my soccer skills from Play Soccer Malawi. Play Soccer Malawi is the project that initiated change in his life. It opened a door for him to more education. Just behind his house is a playground, the home of Play Soccer Malawi. Until recently, Jabez was one of these kids.
Silas Lewinda is the program manager and he knows Jabez very well from the time he started. For more than six years, Jabez was with Play Soka Malawi before he was sported for an advanced career. We have to get the Jabez proved himself as a hard worker from the beginning. He joined when he was under eight and he was very ambitious. And he became very confident in his abilities. Not only in football, but in class as well. He was improving quite quickly and he was deeply dedicated. His soccer skills made him very famous. For many of these kids, Jabez is a role model. Play Soka Malawi does not only offer football skills. Its main agenda is about education. Today, the children are learning about nutrition. They are advised to eat more fish and vegetables. In this group, the children are taught to choose the right types of food. Football is mainly used to attract the children to education and keep them off the streets. There is a high school dropout from many children that live here. The coming in of play soccer Malawi added in more value in education. When they are done with classes, the children get some activities. Eighteen-year-old Emily Josem is a volunteer trainer. She has been with Play Soka Malawi since she was a kid. And now she wants to pay back what she gained from Play Soka Malawi. I trained these kids so that they get what I had from Play Soka Malawi. I had a scholarship for school, and I want them to have that chance as well. Before the kids leave, there is one more important thing to get. Some food. For this group, it is even two bread rolls today. Silas, the manager, wants them to watch out. These kids are advised to hide the bread rolls so that they are not snatched away by the other kids who are not part of the program. Emily as well is hungry now and heading home. She lives in the same neighborhood as Jabez. Just like him, she is very successful in football. But unlike Jabez, she has completed school and is waiting for college. She receives a warm welcome by her grandmother, whom she lives with. Emily is the only person in the family who has achieved this much. I'm very proud of my granddaughter. She got a scholarship for school through football and has even traveled abroad to Nigeria to participate in a game. Emily has high hopes for her future. She would like to become a procurement manager. It is early morning and pupils from all over Ndirande are walking to school. Jabez and his best friend Enoch are in Form 3 at Ndirande Hill Secondary School. Jabez managed to come so far because he was recommended by Play Soccer Malawi. Because of his football talent, he even got a scholarship. 
it is quite a busy morning, as everyone has to grab a chair before they go to class. Jabez and his classmates are on time. The teacher is not. And so the pupils have to wait. Quite common in schools like these, where teachers are not paid on time and they miss their classes. Finally, a colleague is helping out. A spontaneous English literature class, Jabez's favorite subject. To host or it's a house that accommodates the grandfather and the, the other elderly grandchildren. It is important that classes are not missed because we have a lot to learn. Only if one gets enough education, that one can aim for a brighter future. A short break to get some snacks. Education is not yet over. But Jabez can only think of one future, and that is football.